What is up, guys? Big49 here. We are back on the Desolation map once again. And once again, we find ourselves outside of the Strand. I know what you guys are thinking. Bean, what happened to the mall? That's a good question. I don't know. Uh, you know, I, I said I would finish the mall soon, and then I dropped everything on the mall, and then I started on the Strand. I'm sorry guys, the mall has taken a back seat. Why? Why do these things happen? I don't know. I don't know. I think it's teaching us a lesson though. The important lesson here is that you can't force creativity. Whatever your creative side wants you to work on, that's what you need to be working on. You don't want to force it. You don't, you don't want to... I mean, don't get me wrong here. If you're not feeling creative, you shouldn't just sit there and do nothing, you know, and, and ignore your creativity. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if you're not feeling creative, you need to do something else creative. Alright? So I was kind of, I don't know if I was burnt out on the mall, I just, well, the idea wasn't appealing to me. So that's why we're working so much on the strand these days. Let me show you what we got going on here. You guys remember the first floor, we took you past this. All sorts of shops, we got the tea shop. Got a, that's an antique store. <laughs> I've shown all this in past videos, pretty sure, pretty sure. So let's go upstairs, we got a watch repair, all sorts of, or a spare change, I don't know, a lot of different stores. It's hard to keep track of them all. Now the reason why this is going so fast is because I've been getting a lot of help. Diamond A Team has been working on shops, Cole0987 has been working on shops, Stale Raisins has been working on a shop. I think Zachary's got a shop. Stormzix has a shop. I mean, there's all sorts of sh shops going down in here with all sorts of builders. And it's giving us kind of an eclectic feeling in here. Now, they're not really replicating my style. They're kind of trying to they're trying to adhere to my style while still being creative, which is really cool. I, I feel like that's a good way to grow. You know, you adopt a style that's not your own, but you make it your own and then use that new style to formulate a, a style that you like. So that's what we're doing here, guys. They're taking the Binku 49 tried and true method, and they're branching out with them with it. It's pretty cool. Ancient Chinese Secret. That's one of my favorite stores so far. Uh, you want to go see some stores that people have been working on? We can see a couple. Uh, what's for them? This one is Chad's Jazz. Diamond, we're going to have to move that sign because you can't see it from here. It's pretty pointless. <laughs> what good is a sign if you can't read it? <laughs> so we'll have to put that down somewhere else. Uh, how can we do it? What if we did this? Diamond, don't be mad, but it has to be done. That looks weird. <laughs> that looks really strange. That's not gonna work. I could just put a like a metal thing here. There you go. We can put a we can put a sign on there, right, guys? That makes sense to me. That's more like it. We'll just do it for him real quick because what else are we gonna do? Should we do it in all caps? Why not? Why not? Chad's Jazz. Proper punctuation. Do not forget the apostrophe. Chad's, it's uh, showing ownership. The jazz belongs to Chad's. <laughs> not Chad's. Chad's, okay. Chad's Jazz. Okay, there we go. So this is like a Mardi Gras theme. It's, uh, they're selling records. Uh, not like instruments. This is like a record shop. So we'll go in and check as soon as I finish this sign. Oh, I hate typing with the controller. My goodness. Why wouldn't they let you scroll through the letters faster? Can you riddle me that? <laughs> Why does it take so long to go through each letter? Okay. Chad's control? What the heck? Oh my god, guys. Do you know what just happened there? I was thinking about a controller. <laughs> I was trying to spell the word jazz. Oh my goodness. What the heck just happened? Okay, that was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, that was funny, actually. Okay, Chad's control jazz. There we go. I was thinking about a controller. That was weird. It shows the power of your subconscious mind. It can take over sometimes if it gets uh, bored, I guess. So this is the record shop. Diamond did a great job in here. I did have to come in and help him a little bit, but all I did was add detail. That's all I really did. I added a bunch of detail, but he had a great store going in here. And uh, that just kind of is the way it's been going, this whole build. For the last two years, guys, nearly two years, um, it's been two people blending their creativity together. This is the upstairs where you can 
lounge and listen to jazz, I suppose. This is pretty laid back. It's almost like a coffee shop where you can listen to music. Pretty cool. Very New Orleans-ish. But uh, as I was saying, what we've been doing, guys, is having two or more people blend their creativity together. And that invariably, 100% of the time, creates something really cool that you could never have otherwise. Which one goes in the... I always forget, so I have to put both. I don't know which one goes in the uh, flower pot. Is it the, the brush, the bush, or the shrub? I don't know. Why are they different? They're the exact same thing, but one can go in certain places. So it's the shrub that goes in potted plants. Oh, wait. They both go. <laughs> Dude, I'm just making a fool of myself today. <laughs> I was like 99.9% .9 sure you could only put one of those in the cup. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's okay. I guess I'm wrong. All right, what's this? Oh, this is Stormzix. He's working on a mask store. So he is not done with it. He's starting on it. So we won't go in there. What do we got here? Oh, Cole0987 wanted to do a tie shop. And me, him, and Diamond were kind of brainstorming on how to do ties. And this is what we came up with. These are the ties, okay? They're not perfect. They're not the best. But they're the only block that are kind of like micro blocks, you know? The only block we have right now that are skinny and are colorful. So that's, those are the ties. Can you even see what's going on here? Do you need me to take the juice? Is that what you want, guys? No, I'm not going to take the juice. Do you know why? Because I want you to get a real feel for this place. Yes. It's going to be scary and dark and... Oh, yes. I cannot wait. I cannot. I, what is this? This is the EP. Uh, stale, I believe. No, it's not stale. This is Cole. Is working on this. Work in progress. Work in progress. Ah. Wait, no. EP? Who's working on this one? Maybe that is stale, actually. That is stale, sorry. Or is it? Oh wait, stale's working on this one. I forget, I can't keep it straight anymore. Maybe this is diamond, that's what it was. Diamond started a new one, okay. Um, over here is glow. This is gonna be a lamp stop store. <laughs> lamp stop store store. Is it really gonna sell lamps? I haven't started on the interior. Well, a little bit. I'm doing this one. Hopefully that turns out nice. What's this over here? MK, uh, Michael Coors. So the facade is, done on this one. Stale's going to do the interior. Rue 21. This is uh, Cole's latest one. This is, uh, he says he's finished. Cole, but you ain't done. You're telling me this is done. No freaking way. So I'm going to have to come in here and work with Cole to improve this place. And, you know, like I just said, we'll, we'll blend our creativities. This is Brandy's Candies. Have I showed this one? Oh, that's right. In a past video, I showed the facade, but I didn't start on the interior. The interior is... Are we calling this done? I don't know. I don't know if I want to call this done yet. There might be some more things I need to add in here. One question. Does this go on top of that? Because if it does, oh baby, a triple. <laughs> That's cool. I like that. It kind of looks like candy. A little bit. I don't know. Imagination, guys. Can you, can you guys please have some imagination for me? Thanks. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Brandy would too. So this goes back to something that Solid told me, Solid MP15, he told me once back in the day that a lot of candy shops have their checkout stands, checkout stands in the center of the store so that they can easily see the whole store because kids got sticky hands in the candy shop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And it's not from the candies either. All right, so what else we got in here? Um, ancient Chinese secret. I think I showed this already, but let's just go in again. <laughs> I love this shop. All sorts of weird items that you can purchase in there yeah so that's pretty much what we have got going a lot of facades we got to do a lot of interiors still to go still to come a lot of interiors have I showed off all of these have I finished in here the Wayne company jewelry the Wayne company have I showed you guys this uh, I don't think I have let's just look at it this is the Wayne company a lot like the Shane Company, but not quite the same. <laughs> now you have a friend in the diamond business. No. Uh, so this is, yeah, this is basically jewelry. I don't know if it comes across. I, I'll try to use the colored glass, but I don't know. I don't know, guys. I'm on the fence with this one. Maybe this one could use some of this. You know what I mean? Some of that. Uh, that doesn't work like that. <laughs> well, I don't know. Something needs to happen in here. Do you have any suggestions on how I could detail this further to make it look like a jewelry store more? To look it like a more like a jewelry store. I don't know what that means. Okay. 
Uh, the cobbler I showed you. The cigar shop I showed you, right? I, I'm having... Am I getting old? <laughs> I haven't, forget what I've done on film and what I haven't. All right. Um, hmm. Yeah, I think I've shown you all this. Uh, the chocolate shop. Charlie's Chocolates. I think we need to fix this facade, Cole. I don't like it that much. And we need to add stuff in here. This is very plain. See... I'm going to say this, Cole, I'm not saying this to pick on you, I'm not saying this to make fun of you or to point out your flaws, because we all got flaws. But this is a, a problem that I've been seeing with a lot of you builders who want to help me out, is you are in a hurry to finish, and you're not putting in the detail work. Like, for instance, just let's use this as an example. He says he's done in here, but, I mean, look at this wall space. This is all empty, this could be stuff. This is all empty, this could be stuff. This is all empty, this could be stuff. In the desire to say, I'm finished, let's start a new project, you pretty much neglect the things that your old project needs. This this shop needs a lot of TLC. So I'm gonna have to come in here and, I like to do it with Cole present because I'm not saying that I'm the best builder in the world, but if you guys can watch me build and get some ideas, then hopefully that will inspire you to elevate your building games. You know, you feel me? You feel me on that? And the facade as well, it doesn't really... You see, it's a chocolate shop, but it doesn't really let you know what it is from the exterior, you know? I mean, I'm not saying we should build a big cookie or whatever, but I'm just saying let's make it a little more chocolatey. <laughs> so to speak. All right, so I'm not gonna build today. This was a catch-up episode. I'm sorry there's no mall, guys. <laughs> Oh, put in the comments if you are ready to see some mall work. If you're just happy with this strand building, I'll keep on the strand. I mean, we're getting so close to finish. I've also got this going over here. And uh, let's see, we've got one, two, three, four more floors. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. It's, um, it's daunting. It's intimidating, guys. Interior, interior work, that is. But it has to be done. And it's very fulfilling. You know, you don't get the same feeling when you finish it, an exterior that you do when you finish an interior. It feels like you have accomplished something big, something monumental. So, you know, take the time on your interiors. Don't rush them. Make them the perfect way that you know how. Okay? Oh, by the way, someone came into my party the other day and said his world was perfect. If you are listening to this, there's no such thing as perfection. He said, oh, there's not a single flaw in our world. <laughs> yeah, okay, that statement in itself is flawed in every way. Yeah, there's flaws every... Just... Flaws make your creations beautiful. They make them unique. They give them character. Embrace your flaws, guys, and then try to fix them. <laughs> anyway, I think that's going to be an episode today. Thank you guys for watching as usual. Thank you for coming along on this ride. Thank you for having patience. I know that... You want to see some mall building? <laughs> I don't know why I keep talking about the mall. Anyway, I'm just rambling now. Let's end this video. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.